Hello, welcome to Medicine for the Soul Yoga. My name is Kat and today we will be doing a 40 minute mandala flow. So we're going to be focusing mainly on the core and we're going to be mixing up with some really lovely deep um, shoulder stretches and standing balances as well. So it's a lovely kind of full body um, workout, lengthening and strengthening and I hope you enjoy. Start today seated in a cross-legged position, grounding yourself down. So perhaps just peeling away the bum cheeks, feeling the tailbone really grounding us down. We're going to draw the hands on the knees, palms facing up. Chin very slightly tucked down, lengthening the spine. Gently leaning back. Breathing in and out through the nose. Next exhale, releasing any tension you're holding in the legs and the hands and the arms. Taking a few breaths here to really ground yourself into this moment, into your practice today. Allowing the breath to travel down into the tummy, inflating like a balloon with every inhale. I'm going to do a few rounds of alternate nostril breathing to start the practice. So middle finger comes and stays in between the eyebrows. The thumb will close the right nostril, the ring finger will close the left. And I'll guide us through the breath, always breathing in and out through the nose. So we'll exhale to start. Close the right nostril with the thumb, big inhale through left. Close the left, open right, big exhale. Big inhale through right. Close the right, big exhale through left. Big inhale through left. Close left. Big exhale through right. Big inhale through right. Close right, big exhale through left. We'll do one more round where you lead the breath yourself, as full deep breaths as you can. So in through the left. Really breathing in as much as you can. When you exhale, exhaling as much as you can. So slowing it down. And in through the right again. And exhale through the left. And when you've done, you can just place the right hand on the lap. Breathe normally for a moment. Just notice how you feel, this lightness, this presence. Gently opening the eyes. So we're going to start today by drawing the right leg out long. <clears throat> Keep this left leg drawing into the body. We're going to place the left hand by the, by the left leg. Bring the right hand to meet it. Inhale, open that right hand out. Follow with your gaze. And then exhale, draw the hand in. Follow with your gaze. Again, inhale, open up the hand. Feel the shoulder blades meet behind the back. Exhale, drawing in. This time, either staying the same or option to lift the hips up as you move the hand up. Big inhale. Exhale, release down. And again, with the hips or without. Inhale. Really let that right hand release back. And exhale, drawing down. Good. 
We're gonna draw this right leg in. Big inhale, reach the hands up. And then exhale, come into just a very gentle forward fold. Keep yourself grounded with the tailbone. Gently just sway side to side. Connect with your breath. Good, and then gently coming up. So to switch the cross of the legs, we're going to travel around in a circle, our first circle of today. Um, whichever ankle is in the front, you travel around that way. So my right ankle is in front, so I'm going to travel around anti-clockwise. If your left ankle is in front, travel around clockwise. Keep the feet exactly as they are. We're just going to lift the hips up and turn ourselves around, twisting on the feet, keep them where they are, and then sit back down. <laughs> it's quite a fun little transition. Inhale, reach the hands up. And again, exhale, forward fold, feeling it a little bit in the opposite hip now in this forward fold. Big inhale, big exhale, gently coming up. Good, and then we'll draw the left leg out long, hug this right foot in, right fingers placing to our right hand side, left fingers join. Big inhale, open the hand up. Exhale, drawing it in. One more time, inhale, opening. Exhale, drawing in. Either staying like that or lifting the hips up. Exhale, coming back. So really using the breath here. Inhale, reaching up one more time. Let that left hand really fall back. Exhale, releasing down. Good. And we'll draw this left leg in. So we might be sitting with the legs crossed in the opposite way than feels normal, but that's good. It's good to keep that balance. As we inhale, we're going to open the arms out, really release the chest. And as we exhale, we're going to round the back, tuck the chin, and we're going to cross the left arm over the right and give ourselves a little hug. Feel the fingers kind of drawing around the back. So squeezing in, maybe rocking side to side here. Next inhale, we're going to open the hands out, shine the chest forward. Maybe take a nice smile here. And then exhale, drawing in right hand over left, right arm over left. Feel the fingers kind of drawing the hands around the back as we gently hug ourselves and rock side to side. Good. And then inhale, opening those hands out. This time, we're going to have the hands meet behind the back, interlacing the hands, shine the chest forward. Perhaps wiggling side to side here feels good. Good. And then we can just release the hands on the knees and release out the shoulders a little bit. Good. So we'll dive the hands forward and find our tabletop position. And going straight into your cat cows. Flow with your breath, even closing the eyes straight away here. Feeling into your body, feeling into the stretch. As we exhale, we round the back. As we inhale, we arch the back, roll the shoulders away from the ears. Feel where you feel it in your body. Be mindful of this movement. Almost feel as if the breath is leading the movement. The breath is a driving force behind this movement. Good, and then finding stillness in the centre. We're going to do a little bit of core work now. So we're going to tuck the toes, keep everything else the same, keep the shoulders over the wrist, fingers are spread evenly, distributing the weight. If you've got issues with your wrists, perhaps even coming onto fists here could be a good option. Lifting up the knees, squeezing in the core, Keep the neck long, chin tucked in. Keep breathing deeply in and out through the nose. Whenever you need to bring the knees down, do. If you'd like an extra challenge, what happens if you try and tap the right knee to the right elbow and then the left? Try and keep the hips down. So we want the knees to stay just hovering above the mat. Shoulders over wrists. Don't forget to breathe. 
So we're either moving the knees, we're holding, or we're resting the knees down. One more breath. Good, and we'll all release the knees down and just push back to child's pose for a moment. Let the hands come onto their fingertips, really melt the chest down. Big exhales, sink the hips towards the heels. Inhale, we'll roll ourselves up. Good, back to our tabletop. So we're going to tuck the toes, we're gonna to take plank. So we really want this plank to be super solid. So we're engaging the legs, almost feel like you're lifting up the kneecaps, engaging the glutes, the hips are down, the shoulders are over the wrists. You're looking forward, pushing out of the hands, rounding off the top of the shoulders. Breathing deeply in and out through the nose. Again, staying here, dropping the knees down into supported plank, we're still working there, or tapping the knee to the elbow or towards the elbow. Really squeezing the core. Aim for the armpit almost. <laughs> so we're really squeezing it in and up. Keep breathing. Rest whenever you need to rest. Good, one more breath. And then we'll release the knees down and release the chest down super slowly. Keep the elbows hugging back onto our front. Good. And we can just rest the head on the hands. Make a little pillow, rest the forehead there. Feel the shoulder blades release. Take a big, lovely, deep breath here. Big exhale. Wiggling the hips side to side. Good. Lifting the head up. We'll place the hands either side of the shoulders. Inhale, we're going to lift into just a really gentle back bend. Roll the shoulders away from the ears. Hug the elbows into the body. Shine the chest forward. Good. As we exhale, we're going to push up to tabletop. As we inhale, we're going to roll all the way down. Rolling up to our gentle back bend. And then exhale, pushing back. So either staying here with the help of the knees. We come into kind of supported plank, exhale down and inhale up. So taking our kind of mini vinyasa. Or if you'd like to challenge yourself, lifting the knees up, exhale lower halfway, inhale into our back bend, exhale back to plank. So we're just going to take one more of those with the knees or without. So exhale lower, inhale into our back bend, exhale back to plank. Good. Drop the knees down. Really good. And then lowering ourselves all the way down onto the mat. Again, placing the forehead on the hands. Just wiggle out the hips. Feel the shoulders relax. So we're going to do a little bit of work with our back. And, and then we'll do a little nice flow. So we're going to lift up the forehead. Keep the legs and the glutes engaged. Keep the pelvis pushing into the mat. As we lift up the forehead and the chest, we then let the elbows lift off the mat. If you feel crunching in the lower back, come down lower. But if this is okay, we're trying to lift the head up and the chest up. Keep the feet on the mat. Big inhale here. Big exhale. Good, we're gonna open the hands like we're swimming in the air. Big inhales, the hands reach behind the back. And then exhale, let them come forward in front of the face. Squeeze in the core, squeeze in the back. One more, inhale, opening the hands. Exhale, come forward, rest when you need. This is the last time. Inhale, swimming the hands. This time, hold, draw the shoulders away from the ears. Lift up the feet and maybe even the thighs. Keep breathing deeply. How high can you reach your chest? How high can you reach those feet? And then release. Good. Bring the forehead onto the hand. Take a lovely deep breath here. And exhale, release it all out. It's 
So we're going to come into a little flow now. We're going to bring the right arm out long, 90 degrees, palm facing down, left hand by our left shoulder. Placing the right side of the face on the mat, we're going to just roll onto our right hand side. So coming into that deep shoulder release. And we can place the left foot behind the right leg. So we're just gently kind of rolling onto that right shoulder. Take a few relaxing breaths here. Gently pulsing and releasing deeper onto that right shoulder. So we're going to keep the left foot where it is, but we're going to begin to roll our body back to the front, so back to our tummy. Let the left knee travel down, but keep the foot where it is. We're going to draw this right using that and we're going to lift up our body and twist to the left. So it's a bit of a confusing transition, but we're going to end up facing the back of the mat with our foot out like this. Might need to shuffle back onto the mat, good. We're then going to take boat pose here. So we're going to lean back, draw both legs up. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Squeezing in the tummy. Either staying here or see what happens when you straighten the legs. This requires hip flexor and core strength. Keep breathing. If you need to rest, bring the toes onto the mat. Keep squeezing in the core. One more big inhale. Good, exhale, we're gonna cross the legs, dive the hands forward, step or hop back to plank, and we'll take our vinyasa. Drop the knees if you need to. Exhale, we lower down. Inhale into our back bend, and then exhale, we find downward dog, good. Pedal out the heels here, so just lengthening out the hamstrings. Big deep breaths in and out through the nose. Inhale, we're going to roll ourselves into this really strong plank. So challenge here, either drop the knees or try and keep the knees lifted as we lower our whole body down on the count of five. So we're going to take five breaths to lower all the way down. Try without the knees and then use the knees as you need. Keep the elbows hugging in all the way down, slowly, slowly, good. So we're gonna again travel round the rest of the circle to the front of the mat. So again, we'll place the right hand out to the side, left hand by the left shoulder, roll over onto that right shoulder. Again, placing that left foot behind. Perhaps we can roll a bit deeper onto the shoulder now, see how much space there is. So the shoulders are big muscles. So you'll be surprised at how much more space you can find when you, the muscles are warm and that you've been in the stretch for a few breaths. So do play around with that. Constantly finding more space, increasing your flexibility. And letting that left knee travel over, bringing the body with it. Good, we're gonna very gently roll back to our front. Keep the left foot where it is. Draw the right hand in towards the body as we push the chest up and then turn to the left. Good, come back into our seated position and we'll find boat pose again. Keep the shoulders relaxed away from the ears. If you need to rest, bring the feet down. Still leaning back, we're still working the core. Otherwise, keep the legs lifted. Shot, the chest is shining forward. Elbows are slightly hugging in. Breathing through the nose. Maybe straightening the legs. We're going to hold here for three more breaths. Use your breath. Good. One more big inhale. And then exhale. We'll cross the legs. Dive the hands forward, step or hop back to plank. Big inhale here. Exhale, take your vinyasa, drop the knees if you need to. Inhale into our upward dog. Good, exhale, finding our downward dog. Really good, pedal out the heels. Perhaps letting the hips sway side to side. 
Big deep breaths in and out through the nose. Finding stillness in our downward dog. Bending into the legs slightly, lifting the heels. We'll really push the chest towards the thighs. Let the tailbone lift. Roll the shoulders away from the ears. Good. We're going to inhale and come forward into our plank. And again, we're going to lower down in the count of five breaths. So do drop your knees down if you need to and let the hips come down at the same time. Or keep the knees lifted really as slowly as you can. We're really building in that upper body strength here. Lower all the way down onto the mat. Good. So this time, I'm just going to shuffle over to the right to give me space. I'm going to draw the left hand out to the side, palms facing up. Right hand by right shoulder. Left side of the face on the mat. Gently rolling onto the left side body. Bending that right leg, place the foot behind the left leg. Use your breath here. And just be gentle with this side. I haven't warmed up this side yet, so just taking the time. Use the breath. We'll gently roll back to our front. Good, we'll draw that left hand into the body. As we inhale, lift the chest up, roll to our right. So we're looking this way, good. This time we're going to incorporate in a little forward fold. So let this right knee fall to the side and we'll just lengthen over this left leg. Good, and then inhale, drawing up. Drawing both legs up, we'll find our boat pose. Squeeze the tummy in, lengthening the legs if you'd like. Option here to stay still or perhaps toe taps. It's easier if you tap the toes closer to the body and it's harder when you tap the toes further away. So experiment, squeeze in the core. Imagine you want to suck the belly button into the spine. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Keep tapping if you're tapping with me. Two more taps. And hold. Really deep breaths here. Good. And then exhale. We'll cross the legs, dive the hands forward, step or hop back to plank. Take your vinyasa, drop the knees if you need to. Exhale, back to our downward dog. Good, pedal out the heels. Big, strong, deep breaths in and out through the nose. Push the chest towards the thighs, really good. Inhale, rolling forward into plank. Exhale, that challenge again. How slow can you release down? Keep the shoulders over the wrists. And releasing all the way down, good. And then we'll place the left hand out to the side, palm facing down. Place the left side of the face on the mat, right hand by right shoulder, rolling gently onto that right side. Right foot behind left leg. And we'll gently pulse the knee up and down. Feel the weight just releasing over that left shoulder. Use the breath. Next exhale, can you release a bit more? Good, and then very gently, coming back to our front, draw that left hand into the chest, bring the right knee towards the body. And then we're gonna lift up the chest, roll over to our right. Good, rearranging yourself back on the mat. This time drawing the left knee in, lengthening the right leg out long, letting that left leg drop to the side and we'll just gently come into a forward fold. Big deep breaths here. 
finding length and then gently coming up and you know what's coming now another boat pose if you do feel you need to rest please do you can just rest in this position otherwise this is our last one keep the shoulders rolling away option to just stay static or we can move with me we're going to pretend we've got a ball in between the hands exhale we'll put that ball down to our right and inhale squeeze it up exhale to the left inhale squeeze it up as you move this ball with your breath how still can you keep the legs imagine like you've got a cup of water on top of your feet keeping super stable building such solid strength here for our yoga practice use a breath exhale down to one side inhale up we're going to go one more side if you're moving with me exhale inhale squeeze exhale down inhale squeeze good release the ball perhaps straighten the legs for the last breath and then exhale bending into the legs really really good dive the hands forward step or hop back to plank i'm going to drop my knees for this vinyasa exhale come down inhale into our back bend good exhale back to our downward dog really good pedal out the feet have the feet quite wide toes facing out and really push the chest towards the thighs now so we really feel this nice release across the shoulders and we're going to let the heels lift bend into the legs see how that feels and then walking the hands back towards the feet. Let the heels come down as you travel back and come into our low yogi squat. Big deep breaths in and out through the nose. Maybe finding stillness. You can draw the palms together, release the shoulders, draw the chin down. Big deep breaths here. Either staying here or if you'd like a twist, we can place the right hand into the center and inhale, reach that left hand up. Similar to how we started the class, feel the shoulder blades draw behind the back. If you have a bind in your practice, perhaps wrap that right hand and finding the fingertips, really look up and back. Begin wherever you are. hand down big inhale reach up perhaps finding the bind if that's in your practice if it's not it's something to work towards one day you'll suddenly be able to find your fingers behind the back and it will be a great moment <laughs> gently look forward good and um, this time we're gonna bring the fingers in front of us and almost feel like we're leaning back so we're holding the fingers forward and really tucking the chin down one breath here, good, and then exhale. We'll begin to lift the hips, walk the hands back, find our downward dog, bring the feet back to center and let the hips sway side to side, release out those hips. Big deep breaths in and out through the nose. Option to just rest in child's pose or in our downward dog or option to take a vinyasa here. Good. Inhale, look towards the hands, step or hop the feet forward to the hands. We'll land in half flat back, come up halfway, big inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reaching the hands up, big inhale. Exhale, draw the palms to center. Release the hands down either side of the body, draw the chin down to the chest. Take a few deep, grounded breaths here. Gently open the eyes. Good. So we're going to come into a standing balance now to kind of draw our standing practice to a close. So we're gonna draw the right knee up, keep the hands on the hips. So we've worked a lot with the hip flexors in our boat poses today. So we'll just do a final little bit to finish them off. 
either keep the knee bent or straighten the leg out long. This is really hard on the hip flexors, so keep breathing, suck the belly in. Pulsing if you can for five, four, three, two, one. Good, draw that knee in and hug the knee into the chest using the hands. So this might be enough of a balance for you today, in which case stay here, keep the shoulders drawing down the back. Or we can keep the, just the left hand on the right knee, draw the right hand out behind us, follow with your gaze. Big deep breaths. If you're pretty comfortable here and you want more of a challenge, perhaps placing the left hand on the outside edge of that right foot, straightening the foot out long. If you wobble, that's fine. Constantly challenging your muscle memory for it to build each time will get easier. Breathing. Wherever you are, gently come back to center. Hug that knee into the chest. And then exhale, release, good. Shake out the left ankle, shake out the shoulders. Hmm. We'll just come to the other side. Inhale, drawing that left knee in, hands on the hips. Either keeping the leg bent or straighten the leg out long. How high can you lift that foot? Squeeze the tummy in. Pulsing if you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, hug the knee in. Draw the hands over the knee, drawing the shoulders down the back, either staying here or perhaps opening the left hand out to the side, look behind you, big deep breaths, keep the shoulders drawing away from the ears, either staying here or perhaps testing what it might feel like to hold onto the left foot, anywhere along this journey that leg does not need to be straight. Keep the shoulders relaxed, keep breathing. Gently looking forward, hug that knee into the body. Good, exhale, release, really good. Shake out the legs. Big inhale, reaching up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, coming up halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step or hop back to plank. Take your vinyasa, use the knees if you need. And then exhale, find our downward dog, good. Pedal out the heels. Hmm. We're gonna draw the knees down as we exhale round the back. Inhale, arch the back. Now option here to really finish off the core or rest in child's pose. So resting in child's pose, wide leg child's pose would be nice and just take a few breaths there. If you'd like to do a bit more of the core, we're just gonna come back to how we started, hovering the knees off the mat. So either resting in child's pose is totally valid. If you've got a bit more left in you and you want this to be a fiery practice, lift the knees up. Squeeze the belly button into the spine, keep the shoulders over the wrists. It's really important. Either holding here or perhaps those knee taps. Squeeze. How high can you tap the knee on the back of the hand? Keep breathing deeply. Good. One more tap on each side if you're tapping with me. And then releasing the knees down. Good. We'll all meet in tabletop, so come on up if you were in child's pose. We'll lift the feet off the mat and we'll just let the feet sway side to side. Take a few deep breaths here. Bring yourself back to breath. And let the feet just land on one side as we sink the hips back. Good, and slide the feet forward. Shifting the hips forward as well. So option here, if you like more of a restorative cool down now, bring the hands and let the forearms help come down. If you would like to use the core, bring the hands either side of the body and feel yourself as slowly as you can, rolling down the back. Keep the chin tucked in, squeezing in that belly and then release the head. 
and release the shoulders on the mat. Take a breath. Just resting the hands below the belly button. Feel the shoulders melting into the ground. Good, we're gonna draw the feet into the body. So as close in as you can with the heels down. So maybe you could even touch the back of the heels with the fingers. And we're gonna come into bridge pose. So keeping the hands on the mat for now. Inhale, lifting up the hips. Keep the knees hugging in and drawing in. Squeeze the glutes at the top. And we'll hold here for a few breaths. Strong breaths in and out through the nose. Squeezing the glutes. And then exhale, rolling down vertebrae by vertebrae. Feel the pelvis rolling in and then just kind of folding and melting on the mat. Good. Next time, inhale, rolling up the spine, hugging the knees together. This time, perhaps placing the hands underneath the body, maybe even rolling onto the shoulders and really squeezing the glutes. Lift those hips up, pushing the chest towards the chin. Strong breaths here. One more big inhale. And then exhale, releasing the hands. Let the shoulders give you space to roll super slowly down. Keeping the pelvis rolled and then letting it fold as it really reaches the mat. Feel that lovely release in the lower back. Really good. So option here just to come into bridge again or to find your wheel pose if you have it in your practice. So wheel pose would be where you have your hands behind the head and similar to bridge. So either just do bridge again or if you'd like to try wheel. An option would be to find kind of bridge pose with your hands behind the head, fingers pointing back. And you can lift yourself up and rest yourself on your head if you feel that you haven't quite got the upper body strength to lift yourself up. So this is an option here. And then to come down, you lift yourself up and tuck your chin in. So give that a go if you'd like, if you're curious. You just need to lift yourself up and bring your head down. If you are here and you have wheel in your practice, perhaps lifting your body all the way up off the mat. Push the chest forward. Keep breathing wherever you are. If you're in bridge, keep the hips lifting, keep the knees squeezing together, and gently we'll all find our way back down. Good, we'll draw the knees into the body, placing the hands over the knees. Gently rock side to side. Take a few lovely deep breaths here. Let the knees make circles. Massage out your lower back and just move to what feels good. Listen to your body, understanding what it needs, becoming more mindful and attuned to it. And then we'll just come into a gentle inversion, keeping the knees drawing in. We're gonna have the hands behind by the body and we're gonna lift the hips up. Tug the elbows in and place the hands behind the hips coming into shoulder stand. Maybe staying here is enough or maybe we can straighten the legs up and begin to walk the hands down the back, drawing the elbows and the shoulders in. Big deep breaths in and out through the nose. Feel this lovely calming effect of all the blood rushing down into our organs, to our brain. Slowing down our blood pressure, slowing down our breathing. Staying here or perhaps letting the feet release over the back of the head. Feel that lovely length across the whole back body. Maybe the feet land somewhere in the air. Maybe they find the floor. And 
and then when you're ready to come down just coming back with the hips slightly bring the hands out long and have the hands find the sides the edges of the mat and hold on to that grip onto the edges of the mat roll the shoulders away from each other to give you space and then gently roll down the back vertebrae by vertebrae how slow can you roll how controlled and then landing with the legs drawing into the body wrap the arms around the shins lift up the forehead give yourself a big squeeze holding everything here hold your breath and tense and then exhale just release the head down release the feet onto the mat and we'll just let the knees sink to the left side look over the right shoulder palm facing up big inhale big exhale release inhale back up to center exhale over to the right look over the left shoulder palm facing up big inhale Big exhale, releasing any tension. Inhale, drawing up to center. Any last movement you feel you might need, then please practice that now. Otherwise, we'll come into Shavasana. Lengthening the legs out long. Palms facing up. Take a moment to make sure you're comfortable here. And then surrender into the Shavasana, into this moment. Feel your breath begin to really slow down. Perhaps still feeling the heat and the stronger breath from this strong practice. And just welcome that. Give gratitude for that movement, for the strength that you're building. And just feel this wave of gratitude for this beautiful body that you have to allow you to move in that way. And just doing a body scan from the face all the way down to the toes, releasing any tension you may find along the way. Just feeling the body get heavier and heavier. Just notice if you've been taken away by a thought, taking you away from this moment. Just let that thought go. Find stillness. And then we'll begin to wiggle the fingers, roll around the feet. Big inhale, reach the hands above the head. Give yourself a big stretch. And then exhale, very gently rolling onto our right hand side. Just rest the head in the hands for a moment. Take a lovely deep breath here. And then we can use the left hand to gently guide us up, back up to sitting with our legs crossed. Drawing the hands on the lap and the chin down. Just enjoying this lovely post-yoga feeling, this feeling of lightness in the body and in the mind. Gently inhaling, lifting the arms above the head, opening the eyes. And exhale, draw the palms into your center. Namaste.
Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that practice. Thank you.